right, looks like we've got quite a crowd here. So today on MTG Unpacked, it is time to get stuck into the patron snap packs. So we're going to be putting these together for the patrons. They'll get five uncommons, five commons, a foil and a rare or mythic. And there are also a couple of little surprises here as well. So I see a bunch of people in the chat. If you're in the chat, let me know if the audio is coming through okay. If there are any issues there. So let's do some shout outs here. We have Jay Shing, Call Me, Legit YT, Frank Hanke, World War Dragons Gaming, Super Fast Tortoise, Cosmo Federico, uh, Yumad Bra 99, Xander Elk, and let's see, Lou Jukes. Holy moly, we've got a whole crowd here. And let's see, anybody else? I think that's it. Amy Ott of 04, yep, very cool. Yes, fashionably or unfashionably late. All right, let's get stuck into it. So we'll start off with the patrons that are getting the foils, and then we'll move on to the full snap packs. And if the patrons are in the chat, I'll try to do yours first. So let's get stuck into it. So the first patron, we have a new patron. This is Anton Peterkin. Thank you for being a patron. And he gets his signed Jackalope Herd card there. So we're going to pull a foil here for you, sir. Let's dig in. Okay, what's it going to be? A foil basking root waller. There he is, Creature Lizard. All right, so we'll tuck that aside and stay tuned for your pack opening later in the month. Okay, next, who do we got here? We've got Mike R. So we will dig in for the foils and reveal a Rage of Perforos. That's got some particularly nice foiling on it. Very cool. So thank you for being a patron, sir. Next up, we have Chris Russell. So we'll dig in again, another foil. Oh, nice, pre-release card, Summit Tyrant Smasher. So that is pretty cool. So thank you for being a patron, Chris. Okay, who do we have next? Oh, Ronald De Petro. If you're not aware, Ronald has a YouTube channel. He cracks packs, so he goes by the name MTG Ronnie D. So we'll dig into that. And Jay Shing is spreading lies. Don't listen to him. Okay, let's go. Oh, nice foil, Immortal Phoenix, rare. So pretty cool. I think this was from the M19 gift boxes, I believe. All right, so stay tuned for your pack opening later in the month, Ronald. And check out his YouTube channel if you have not already. And finally here for the foils, we have Lucas Gadgesek. Thank you for being a patron. What do we get for Lucas? Grave Purge. That is pretty cool. So it looks like a big dead dragon there. All right, so what is going on in the chat here? What is Jay Shing saying? We made the executive decision together. Yeah, right. Okay, he likes to think of me as uh, an employee, but uh, I've got news for him. All right, so let's see. We had Umad Brown 99 so we'll get started there. I'll dig through the envelopes. I've got a huge... Huge pile of them, as you can see. So we'll find his name. And he actually gets two this month because he is a birthday fellow. So wish him happy birthday next week, I believe. Okay, so you mad, bra 99. Let's do this thing. So we will get, uh, I've got to move stuff out of the way here. Liliana, what are you doing? We need some room. Okay, so, digging in. And 
and a foil and a rare or mythic. Okay, good luck, sir. Let's get stuck into it. And I think I've got cards flying everywhere. Welcome, Katie. Okay. We start off here. Oh, we've got an older card from Mirage. Gibbering Hyenas. Delightful scene there. Somberworld Vigilante. Already? Seriously? Okay, so this is a wild card. So that means you get an extra rare. I'll dig into here. Stick that behind and set this aside. And I will be restocking those periodically throughout the stream. Just in case we run out. Okay, next. Fervent Cathar. Phantasmal Form. Seriously? Okay, my sorting leaves something to be desired. Okay, so another extra rare. Holy moly, you're cleaning me out already. I think uh, Ink Junkie 101 did this last month. That was hilarious. Okay, Sun Scourge Champion, Azorius Charm, Apostle of Purifying Light, Incendiary Sabotage, and the foil is Vengeful War Chief, Giant Orc Warrior. Your first rare is Steel Overseer from M20. Next up, Kaya's Wrath from Ravnica Allegiance. And finally, Command of the Dread Horde. So Liliana there with her army of zombies from War of the Spark. Very cool. Okay, so we'll set this aside. And you, Mad Bra, 99, he'll be doing a couple of Chaos boxes. So you'll see those next week. Okay, next. Who is it? You Mad Bar 99, number two. Let's create another snack pack here. And this is the downside with live streams. You've got to watch me pull the cards slowly and painfully from the box. I like to fast forward through this bit when I pre-record them. But not to worry, let's see what we get. Enduring Sliver, who is a Sliver fan, that's pretty cool. Kujar Seed Sculptor, Shoreline Ranger, Pathbreaker Worm, look at the mouth on that thing. Yavamaya Granger, uh, what is that, one of the uh, Urza's block. Hellfire Mongrel. Challenger troll, you have been trolled, sir. Get a good look. You now get a troll. Hero of Lena Tower, Arborback Stomper. Angrath, Captain of Chaos. And a foil, Cerulean Drake. Oh, look at that. Holy moly. And the rare is Sheltered Thicket from Armenkit. All right, so thank you for being a patron once again, Umadbra99. And then we'll move on. Let's see, I think I saw Lou Jukes in the chat. So if I can find his pack here. I really need some like elevator music or something that plays while I do this. Okay, Lou, here we go. Let's create a snap pack for you, sir. Welcome, Eric. Okay, so what do we have for Lou today? We've got a Viashino Sand Sprinter, Sage Owl, I believe that is Weatherlight, Smoke Shroud, Numbing Dose, Haunted Fengraf, Miraza Pyromancer, Tybalt's Rager, Hope Against Hope, Oval Chase Daredevil, Core Entanglers, and nice foil mythic, Tezzeret, Master of the Bridge, fantastic pull, look at that foiling, 
believe, yeah, this was a buyer box promo for War of the Spark, so fantastic. And the rare is Sylvan Caryatid from, what is that, uh, one of the Theros block. Okay, so there we are, Lou. You did pretty good this month. Stay tuned for your pack opening later in the month. Okay, and uh, Jay Shing was asking about Cosmo. So let's dig through. Here he is. Okay, Cosmo, you're up next, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, Cosmo. Oh, great pull to begin with. A gluttonous slug. Get a load of that. Isn't that fantastic? Okay, Mistral Charger. Enduring Sliver. Another one. Thornwood Fairies. Oh, too late, ja uh, Jay Shing. He wants to make a children's story. We'll do that on the next one. Thornwood Fairies. So that is a... Urza's Block, Maraza, Behemoth, Gather the Pack, Dread Wanderer, so you get an extra rare there, that's pretty cool, Split Card, Incubation and Incongruity, Rescuer Sphinx, Burning Oil, and a Foil, Unholy Strength from M10, very nice, and rare is Killing Wave, so... What is that? Um, can't think of it. Avacyn Restored, perhaps? Leave a note in the chat or in the comments if you know what set that is. Okay, so thank you for being a patron, Cosmo. Okay, next. So I saw Eric Polanco there. Where are we, Eric? I don't think I have done your other stuff yet. Okay. Yeah, Avison restored. Okay. So Eric Polanco, thank you for being a patron. And we won't always do this, but because it's Jay Shing, we're going to make a entertaining children's story out of this snap pack. I'm not sure how well that's going to work out. It could be quite horrifying. So cover your ears if things go all right. And a foil and a rare or mythic. Okay, Eric. So a children's story for you all today. Once upon a time, we will rewind back to when this guy was starting weird fires with his hands. There was an attended knight who had a claim on nature. He wanted to demystify the Ray of Revelation. But then a rock swarm monk came on the scene and threw some coins in the air, one of which was the Talisman of Curiosity. And then a man came on the scene <laughs> and it was a heartwarming redemption. Because you see, something terrible happened to this man and everybody forgot about the rock swore monk who is now in eternal isolation. And there was a lifecraft awakening. But then along came the diagraph captain, zombie soldier, And everybody ran away to the Lotus Field. Okay, there we are. So congratulations, Eric. That is a tasty pull. That is your very bizarre children's story. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. Maybe it says stay tuned for part two. Okay, next up, who do we have here? I see Peter. Yeah, everybody ran away. And if you like the children's story, give it a thumbs up. If you hated the children's story, give it a thumbs down. Okay. 
And I'm sure the haters have already given the requisite thumbs down. We've got a whole bunch of those dudes these days. Okay, so, Peter, next up, we're going to put together a snap pack for you, sir. Thank you for being a patron. We do have some clapping, so that is good to know. And it was great. Okay, rave reviews from the chat. Thank you very much. One, two, three, four, five. Jay Shing says a children's story should be a regular series. Well, I think that would be like eating too much candy. You would feel quite sickened afterwards. So maybe that'll be an occasional treat. Okay, we start off with Unearth. Dreadbringer Lampads. Phantom Ninja. Jay Shing! Ding, 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 ding! That's Canadian $5, which is about $1.53 US. Fantastic. Thank you for the super chat, sir. Very cool. Okay, we have an ambitious Etherborn. Magnify. So I think this is also from Urza Block. Holy moly, you mad bra 99. Ding, 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 ding. Great story. Glad to hear it. Okay, Dwinan's Elite. Welcome, Anton. We just did a rather bizarre children's story uh, as composed with magic cards. So you might want to catch that on the replay. And we're getting lots of super chats for that. I guess people found it entertaining. Next, we have Gleaming Overseer and an extra rare multiform wonder. Obnixilus the Hate Twisted. Thraben Heretic. And a Foil Anticipate. Whoa. I mean, I know it's just a common, but look at that foiling. Holy moly. And the rare is Shivan Reef. All right. So there we go. Thank you for being a patron, Peter. And welcome, MTG Hermit. And there's also some... Is that Russian in the chat? Can anybody translate? I wonder if I can translate here. Is there an option to do that? Maybe not. No, no translation. They need real-time translations here. Oh, Jay Shing, you are a funny fellow. He says, next challenge is to sing a song with lyrics composed of card names in the snap pack. Um, we shall see. Uh, let's see, Anton is... Uh, I think I did. Yeah, I did Anton's already. Okay, his was near the beginning. MTG Hermit. Let's dig through. MTG Hermit. Where are you, sir? I'm digging through piles of packs here. And if you're watching this on replay, fast forward until you see something appear in front of you because this is like watching the grass grow. Where are we, Mr. Hermit? Here we go. Okay, so that was a pretty recent video too. Okay, so MTG Hermit. There we are. Gets a Blood Sun from his pack opening. Let's construct the snack pack. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Okay, so what can we get for Mr. MTG Hermit? What if there's a matching Scully Beast? Shelter, Thornado, Porcelain Legionnaire, Magmatic Sinkhole, Rhythm of the Wild, there's a nice one for you. Nightshade Seer, also from Urza's, I believe. Basara Tower Archer, Pledge of Unity. Obnixilis the Hate Twisted. Here he is again. A foil duress with some very shiny spikes. And the rare is Druid's Repository. So I think that is Avacyn Restored. All right, very cool. Thank you for being a patron, MTG Hermit. 
We'll set this stuff aside from you. Okay, next up, who do we have? Scrolling through the chat. I think I saw, yeah, there's Katie. Uh, yell out in the chat if you're a patron and I haven't done your pack yet, so I can queue you up next. Okay, so Katie digging through. Here we go. All right, so Katie W, let's dig in here. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, we have a Kelden Raider shenanigans. Soul Strike Technique, Soul Cage Fiend, Hideous, Glaring Aegis, Angrath Captain of Chaos, Curse of Bloodletting. So you get an extra rare there. What is that? Uh, I cannot think of the name. That's in the same block. It's the second one after Innistrad, I believe. Banishing Light. Harsh Scrutiny, Fairgrounds Trumpeter, and a Foil Greater Basilisk. And rare is Temple of Triumph. Nice. So, nice new card here from M20. Thank you for being a patron, Katie. And we'll see who else is in the chat here. I'm not sure if anyone else... Okay, we will go next with Jack of All Trades. And as you can see, he's already doing rather well for himself with a Krenko 10 Street Kingpin. Okay, so this box is getting emptied out rather rapidly, so we might have to switch to the other common, uncommon one. Okay, four and five... Okay, so what do we have here for Jack of All Trades? We have a Lava Dart, Tented Strike, Falconrath Torturer, Leap of Faith, Weather the Storm, Vengeful Vampire, Ajani's Pride Mate, Draconic Disciple, Servo Exhibition, Ruination Rioter, and a foil act of treason. And rare is Slayer's Stronghold. So again, I think that's Avison Restored. So there we go, Jack of all trades. Thank you for being a patron once again. Okay, next up we have Paper Time. And he already got a nice green mohawk piggy. Fantastic. So let's switch over here to the other box. We've got a few more commons and uncommons as you can see. Which boxes get a foil here for you and a rare or mythic? All right, paper time. What do we got? We got Avon Rift Watcher, Sleeper's Guile, so from Urza's block. That's pretty cool artwork on that one. Trusted Force Mage, Prey Upon, Eager Construct. Perpetual Timepiece, Zathrid's Sly Blade, Scale Blessing, Apprentice Necromancer, Watley's Raptor, and a Foil Murder. 
And the rare, oh, a mythic finale of glory. Fantastic pull there for you, paper time. Excellent. Okay, so we'll tuck those aside. Thank you for being a patron once again. Okay, I think one more and I'm going to have to relocate some of my pile of uh, packs there. Next we have Tony Siriani. Thank you for being a patron. Let's get stuck into it here. Okay, Tony, new patron as you can see. So what does he get? Sea legs, Triton Shore Thief, Sparring Construct, Guild Globe, Crown Ceratoc, Trusty Companion, and ding, 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 extra rare. Okay, so I will reach into the box here. Oh, spoiler, you probably saw that. Okay, set aside the wild card. We're going to have to restock pretty soon. Okay, Street Riot. Swathe Cutter Giant. Thought Distortion. That's what happens when we don't get the crazy pulls we're looking for. And a Foil Rare Gutter Bones. That's pretty cool. And the rare is Sun Petal Grove. From Ixalan, and your second rare is Storm the Vault, which flips around into Vault of Catlican, so you might have got a peek of that already. All right, thank you for being a patron, Tony. Okay, so I'm going to relocate this vast pile of stuff here so we can make some room. Okay, who do we have next? It is Bozza from Down Under. Thank you for being a patron, sir. We will dig through here for some goodies for you today. Okay, so next, what do we got? Tasseled Dromedary. Kaya's ghost form. Jaya's greeting. Hello, Jaya. Good to see you again. Furtive homunculus. Highborn ghoul. Epitaph golem. Perforus's emissary. Arboretum elemental. And a split card, Farm to Market. Tormentor's Trident. And a Foil, Kumena's Awakening. Foil Rare, actually. That's pretty cool. And the Rare is Traumatize. All right, so there we go, Bozza. He's probably uh, either out partying or fast asleep. I'm not sure what time it is in Australia right now, but... Very late, I imagine. Okay, next. Leave some clown emojis in the chat or the comments for Jeremy Worden. I need to play some crickets when I uh, show this card. Okay, let's dig in. Okay, and a foil for you, sir. There we go. There's the clown emojis in the chat. Thank you, you mad bar, 99. Okay. Ooh, that's pretty cool. There we go, Katie. Thank you for the clown emoji. I'm sure Jeremy appreciates it. Squirming mass. Fantastic. Agonizing siphon. Messenger's speed. Striking sliver from M14. Peregrine Drake, Alpine Guide, and didn't somebody mention Alpine Guide recently, or was that something else? 
Renowned Weaponsmith, Ajani's Pride Mate, Vampire of the Dire Moon, Brawler's Plate, and a Prognostic Sphinx. Very cool, and a Dictate of Crufix. All right. So there we go, Jeremy. Okay, Alpine Moon is the one. Right. Okay, next. We have Mathieu Arcambol. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. I think it's French-Canadian. I'm sure I butchered it. Okay, let's dig in. And let's... Uh, I like the, the children's story idea. So we're going to see what horrifying tale we can concoct this time. And a foil and a rare or mythic. Okay, sit down, relax, get a nice warm mug of cocoa if you're in a winter climate or a nice refreshing glass of lemonade if you are in the US or in a summer region. Once upon a time, some little creature divested our brain of a precious gem and gave it to a gluttonous slug who fled to a tranquil domain where he encountered a wild jackalope herd and received a standard pack. Okay, so we will get a standard pack here. Do the pack blessing like so. All right, so that will... That is a little addendum to the story. That is a second part of the story. Set the standard pack card aside. Okay, so he came across a wild jackalope herd, which then ran into a fountain of ichor for some peace and quiet. But that was not to last because they had to wear the mask of immolation, which burned their faces off. And then they hopped aboard their arborback stomper and double cast a spell that produced a sinuous striker, Snake Warrior. And they had their burning vengeance. And their heroes downfall. Okay, stay tuned for part two. So Matthew will be getting the rares, mythics, foils and anything over a buck. And I saw Dylan just entered the chat. No, you did not miss your snap pack. We'll do that up next. Okay, so rares, mythics, foils, anything over a buck. Let's go. We have Scorch Spitter. Stead oh, continuing the story. Um, and then a Scorch Spitter appeared on the scene, but he was stopped by the Steadfast Sentry, who took him to the Sage's Row Denizen, who was a well-known Vidalcan wizard in the town. But he was locked up with the Sanitarium Skeleton, who promised a gift of paradise and an anvil-wrought raptor to fly you there. But it was not to be, because in the next cell, the silverback shaman broke down the wall, and a gorging vulture feasted upon the remains of the sanitarium skeleton, at which point a tectonic rift opened up outside the sanitarium and you flew away on some winged words where you met the angel of vitality. I don't know why this has become like a third person thing. And she took you to the air elemental who gave you a retributive wand and you lived happily ever after with Vilis, the broker of blood. I think that was a disturbing ending, but that's how the children's tales often end. Okay, a mountain and a zombie token. And who is looking forward to Throne of Eldraine? I'm sure there'll be a lot of uh, crazy stuff like that. 
Maybe a little better written than mine on the fly. Okay, there we go, Matthew. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, so Dylan, let's dig through here. I saw your pack somewhere. And it's going to take me a while to find it. Yeah, that was not so much a happily ever after. And feel free to fast forward or feel free to just drink your lemonade as you ponder the meaning of the children's story. The secret hidden deeper meaning. Okay, Dylan Moore. Okay, thank you for being a patron. Let's dig in and construct a snack pack for you, sir. Thank you for being a patron. And a foil and a rare or mythic. Okay, we start off with some crop rotation. Ransack the lab. Chandra's parahelix. Death Hood Cobra. Radiance Judgment. More um, stuff from Urza's block. Appetite for brains. Kindly stranger flips around into a demon-possessed witch. That is delightful. A hollow head sliver. Very cool to see the slivers. Ram roller. Vessel of endless rest. Rally to battle. Foil. Some nice foiling on that one. And the rare is Sower of Temptation from Battle Bond. All right, so thank you for being a patron, Dylan. Stay tuned for your pack opening later in the month. Okay, next we have Michael Shoup. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Good luck. We're going to get stuck into it here. And a foil and a rare. Okay, what do we have for Michael today? We got a curd ape, ether theorist, reckless fire weaver, wily bandar, cat monkey. Has anyone done any cat monkey tribal in EDH or in any other format? Leave it in the comments. Gem Palm Avenger, Time Wipe, so an extra rare few, Shield Hide Dragon, Rescue from the Underworld, Tyrant Scorn, a Leeching Sliver, Ancient Carp Foil, and the rare is Altar of Dementia. All right, it is not that you will go mad, it is that you will beg for madness. Okay, Volrath, that sounds very pleasant. Okay, so thank you for being a patron, Michael. Let's tuck this away for you, sir. Next up, we have Daniel E. Coop. And as you can see, he's done rather well. He's got his nice piggy token there and a bunch of other goodies. Thank you for being a patron, sir. We will dig through here and construct the snack pack. And a foil. And a rare. Okay, so Daniel. We have a bellowing elk. Artillerize, and here we are, a nice airborne goblin with some weird, what is that, a, he's being shot away or he has a jetpack or something, not sure what's going on there. Natural connection, <laughs> World War Dragons game, he says, watch, he'll get that card, Curse of the Swine for that boar token. Rampant growth from Mirage, Drakara Peafowl, 
Swarm of Blood Flies, Rune Servitor, Ordeal of Nylea, Exclude, Totem Guide Heart to Beast, Foil Child of Night, and rare is an Obstinate Baloth. All right, so there we go. Not the piggy we were looking for. Thank you for being a patron, Daniel. Okay, next we have a new patron, Amsai Bros. Thank you for being a patron. Gets his signed Jackalope Herd card. And we will dig in for the snap pack. a foil here and a rare or mythic. All right, good luck, Amzai Bros. Oh, this is cool. Old card here, Sigil of Sleep. Thornado. Stallion of Ashmouth. Nightmare Horse. Dranyard Explorers. Quakefoot Cyclops. Maru Heart Piercer. Whoa. Leeching Sliver. Warhorn, Speedway Fanatic, Fireblade Artist, and a Foil Promo card. Nice, from pre-release, Soul Diviner. And the rare is actually a Mythic Storm Breath Dragon. Very cool, from Theros Block. All right, so there we are, Amzai Bros. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, next up we have Alpha Elizaga. Thank you for being a patron. We're going to hopefully get you some crazy pulls today. So two, three, four, and five. Okay, and a foil. And a rare. All right, good luck, Alpha. Okay, Mnemonic Wall. Imposter of the Sixth Pride. Treetop Ambusher. Grotesque Demise. Blood Burglar. Veteran Motorist. First Slivers Chosen. Anchor to the Aether. Wing Shards. Angrath, Captain of Chaos, a foil phantom monster, and another mythic Cavalier of Flame. Nice, from M20. Fantastic. Has anyone built a deck with this card in standard or any other format? Leave a note in the chat or in the comments. All right. So I will set this stuff aside and move on to the next set of patrons. And Jay Shing says, do you have funny stories from filming video? Did it go horribly wrong before where you had to refilm with new packs? Um, no, what usually happens, this happens fairly often. If you've ever noticed any sudden changes in lighting or cuts, Usually um, I'm coughing or um, I'm getting a bit tongue-tied, messing things up. So you'll see a, a quick little cut, but it's a bit tough to do when you're opening packs. But I've never had to uh, redo everything from scratch, thankfully. Okay, next up we have Eric Kinsey. Thank you for being a patron. One, two, three... Four and five. One, two, three, four and five. And foil and rare. All right, good luck, Eric. And World War Dragons Gaming says he has a Cavalier of Flames. Pulled it in a theme booster, a booster when I pulled that Cavalier and a rare in the same theme booster. Nice. Always good when that happens. Okay, next we have a rune snag, Arkham's Astrolabe, which I hear is uh, having some impact on Pauper right now. I think people want to put...
put it in all of their decks. Reckless Worm, Glint Sleeve Artisan, Silver Urn from Ice Age. Whoa, that's going back. Witness of the Ages, Horizon Scholar, Creeping Trailblazer, War Oracle, Dying Wish, and an Undercity Troll. You have been trolled, sir. And a Mythic Finale of Revelation. Nice. So that goes along nicely with the other finale we pulled. Was it uh, Finale of Glory? All right, so stay tuned for your pack opening later in the month, Eric. And let's see. So digging through. Oh, we have a new patron, Mr. Lawless. Gets his signed Jackalope Herd card. And I believe we are cracking a ton of packs for this fellow later in the month. I think it's uh, half a booster box worth. So stay tuned for that. Good luck, sir. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, so Mr. Lawless, what do we have for you here? <laughs> Chained Throat Seeker! Moltani's Acolyte, for a second I thought that was another Jackalope Herd card. Dangerous Wager. Mad Prophet. Assembly Worker. Humble Defector. Devout Chaplain. Jamdai Tome. 10th District Legionnaire. Kiora's Dismissal, and it's my favourite, Rat Colony in Foil, no less. Get a good look at the rats, that is pretty cool, and the rare is Bedevil. Alright, from Ravnica Allegiance. Okay, so thank you for being a patron, Mr. Lawless. Stay tuned for your many, 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 many pack openings later in the month. I think I'm... Splitting it over two videos, there's so many. Okay, next up we have Jonathan Vogelsang. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Oops, got one extra there. And a foil, and a rare, and World War Dragons Gaming says, So many Jackalope Herd cards pulled this stream, indeed. And uh, there are still a few left. Um, if we clean them out, I'll be putting them back in the box so the rest of the patrons can have a fair go. Okay, next we have Shivan Fire. Blade Back Sliver. That is a pretty cool sliver. Seraph of Dawn. Fontevaya, Purge the Profane, Paradise Druid, Heckling Fiends, Enoch Survivalist, and an extra rare by the look of it, Tempest Gin, Battle Mastery, and that's not the foil yet. Okay, foil, Grun the Lonely King, and the rare, <laughs> Dreadhorde Arcanist. This thing is shooting through the roof in War of the Sparks. So very nice pull for you, Jonathan. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, now I need a bit of a sip of water and we'll continue on. So what are we at? Um, oh, nearly getting close to an hour here. Whoa. Okay. So now we have a patron who has three snap packs. Ink Junkie 101. There we go. So let's dig into it.
And Dylan says, are you thinking about getting more Conspiracy 1 or 2 packs for patrons? So unfortunately, those box prices have gone through the roof. So I'm trying to just offer packs that are the same cost as standard, but I think they're now about double. Um, so yeah, that's the, the downside. I did have some, some packs earlier in the year, but then the price went up. Same with Battle Bond. Okay, so alas, we won't be offering those. Next, we have a Kundu Griffin it's from Mirage. That's pretty cool. Bronze Sable, Mystic of the Hidden Way, Spined Thopter, Kingfisher from Urza's Block, Rails Outburst, Eyes Everywhere, Mask of Immolation, and that was the card from the delightful children's story. If you did not listen to that, you might want to rewind if you're watching this later. Clash of Wills. Kiora Behemoth Beckoner is your Planeswalker and a Foil Guardian Idol. And the rare is Hammer of Perforos. Nice. Yeah, so World War Dragons Gaming, I think the boxes are now about $150 or so. So you'll have to look that up, but yeah, it was way more than I could offer. Okay, so Ink Junkie 101, there is your first pack. Jay Shing says, how about Dragon's Maze, two for one standard pack? Well, it's pretty sickening, but Dragon's Maze has gone up to the price of a normal uh, booster pack now. So that could be offered, but I don't really want to hose patrons so badly, so... That's probably not the best idea. Okay, a foil and a, another rare. Okay, so Ink Junkie 101, here is your second snack pack. We have Magma Spray. Arms from, what is that, Weatherlight. Ward scale croc, he'll bite your whole body off. Watch out for that guy. New Horizons, Imposter of the Sixth Pride. Sky Whaler's Shot. World War Dragons Gaming, is Dragon's Maze not a good set? I'll be happily, uh, I'll get a box and sell you packs at twice the price if you like. <laughs> Angrath, Captain of Chaos, it has a bit of a reputation uh, as being a bit of a, um, not some really good cards in that. There, I think there's only one, what is it, Voice of Resurgence is like the one good card in there. Null Root Trapper, Merfolk Skydiver, Slum Reaper, and a Foil Shoreline Ranger, Bird Soldier, and rare is Field of the Dead. Okay. So there you go, Ink Junkie 101. And he actually got three envelopes this month. So that really kept me busy for quite a while. Okay, Ink Junkie 101. Are there really shock lands in Dragon's Maze? Are you sure about that, Jay Shing? Maybe that was the only other good thing in there, if that's the case. I can't remember. I've only opened... Oh, actually, I've opened one or two boxes on here. I remember I had a, a video where I had some, like, Hosetown bus tickets on it. But, uh, yeah. We didn't get as hosed badly as Battle for Zendikar, though. Okay, so now we have a foil... And a rare, let's get stuck into it here. And I agree also, World War Dragons Gaming, we definitely need a Crocodile Commander. I'm quite honestly surprised they haven't done one yet, but maybe they are trying to build up the tribe. I would think Throne of Eldraine would be pretty good to have a Croc in there. Legendary Croc. Okay, Font of Fortunes, Guild Scorn Ward, Umazawa's Charm. Anticipate, Aerial Maneuver, Filigree Familiar, Angelic Exaltation, Swarm Guild Mage, Weaponcraft Enthusiast, Nightmarish End. 
And a foil scrapper champion. So this is from Ether Revolt. And the rare is Blade Splicer from Modern Masters 2017. Some pretty bizarre artwork. So there we go, Ink Junkie 101. Thank you for being a patron. Stay tuned for your pack opening. And I think you have a chaos box as well later in the month. Okay, next up we have Travis Taylor. Thank you for being a patron, sir. And yes, Jay Shing, I have pre-ordered my Commander 2019. I actually found there's a new LGS that opened up. Um, it's a bit of a drive, but I've got all four of those. So those should be opened on the release weekend, hopefully. What an extra rare. Okay, so... We may have cleaned out the box here, so we'll grab an extra rare. Okay. No. Wait. Okay, I'm, yeah. That was the one we already had. For a second, I'm like, we got an extra one? What is going on? Is this even real life? Okay. Whew. And World War Dragons Gaming says he's excited for Commander 2019. Much better than 2018. I have to watch out for the price of the morph cards. Okay. Welcome, Lucas. Okay. Aura Flux. So from Urza's Fists of Flame, Earthen Arms, Headless Spectre, Heartwarming Redemption, Lone Rider that flips around. You might have gotten a peek of that earlier. It that rides as one. Eldrazi Horror. Senate Guild Mage. Colligan Monument. World War Dragons Gaming says he thinks the rare is a tally. We shall see. Dovin's Veto. A foil. Keeper of the Lens. Does that blind you at all? Don't stare at it too intently. And the rare is Graph Digger's Cage. Okay, and the second one, Itali Primal Storm. There it is. You were absolutely right there, sir. Okay, thank you for being a patron, Travis. And Jay Shing says, are you going to show us your other collection one day? You said comics and other random stuff, right? The problem is it's not nicely organized. There's stuff all over the house and it would require several months to organize. So alas, I will not be doing that. Next up we have Martin. Inked Reaper forgot about the live stream. <laughs> oh well, you'll have to watch it on the replay. Let's see, Martin, what do we get? Two, three, four and five. And a foil, and a rare or mythic. Okay, good luck, Martin. We have a spectral prison. Weave fate, Seagate oracle, makeshift battalion, trumpet blast, Nanam renegade, bound by moon silver, Air Servant, Chemister's Insight, and Massacre Girl. Okay, this is an extra rare. Foil, Desert of the True, and the rare is Kokusho, the Evening Star. Very cool. All right, from Iconic Masters. Thank you for being a patron, Martin. And Jay Shin says, you're going to do an outdoor slash LGS pack opening one day. Not sure. The LGS is probably out of the picture just because I don't have one that I can go to that's conveniently close by, but maybe we'll open something outside one of these days. Okay, next we have Sebastian Blackwell. Thank you for being a patron.
And I believe there is still a standard pack wild card in here somewhere. So hopefully one of the patrons will get that in this video. We shall see. Fingers crossed. Okay, next we have a plated sea strider. Winding way. Inspired charge. Welcome MTG master and Silas link. Erratic Visionary, so I'm putting together the Patron Snap Packs. Grixis Slave Driver, Timur Sabretooth, Sunblade Angel, Firebolt, Stormcrag Elemental, Or Scale Guardian, and a Foil Curator of Mysteries from Armand Kett. And the rare is Marauding Raptor. All right. That's one for the Dino fans. Thank you for being a patron, Sebastian. Stay tuned for your pack opening later in the month. Okay, what else is going on here? Jay Shing says, can you do a live stream MTG Arena draft? If I can ever find the time, there is something I'll be showing later in the video that is going to chew up a ton of my time. It's going to need a ton of editing and possibly a new series. So I'll be showing that near the end of the video. Okay, next we have Kim R. Thank you for being a patron. Let's dig in here. And a foil. And a rare. All right, so Kim... Let's see what we can get. We get Spireside Infiltrator, Pyrophobia, Chant of the Skiffsang. What on earth is that? Grim Affliction, Sustainer of the Realm, Chandra's Spitfire, Military Intelligence, Bond of Flourishing, Evolution Sage, Cloud Blazer, and a foil submerged boneyard. That is pretty cool. And the rare is Sarkhan the Masterless Planeswalker. Very nice from War of the Spark. All right, so there we go, Kim. Thank you for being a patron. Okay, let's see. We've got Benjamin Sullivan up next. And what is happening in the chat? Uh, World War Dragons Gaming says he's going to build an EDH deck around a tough commander. By tough, he means hard to build around. It's going to be Palladium Wars of Ruiner. Okay, so that could be tough. His favourite dino is Gizsath, Sun's Avatar. Okay, so let's dig in here for Benjamin. And this box is thinning out, so we might jump back to the other one briefly. I should have enough cards in there. If not, that could be rather embarrassing. Okay, Benjamin, what do we got for you today? I thought it was a Jackalope Herd card, but it is not. It is a Rogue Elephant from Weatherlight. Mind Rake. Vault Charge, what is that, uh, Scars of Meriden? Ojitai's Breath, or no, New Phyrexia, actually. Midnight Guard, Jace's Triumph, Battle Mastery, Jaya, Venerated Fire Mage, there we go, Jaya. Corpse Knight, just the regular one, not the misprint. Private Research, Phyrexian Ingester. Temple of Silence, okay, what is going on? Did we miss a foil here? I believe one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I needed to, I must have got an uncommon in the foils. All right, so the foil here is a garrison sergeant with... Temple of Silence. All right. So there we are, Benjamin. Thank you for being a patron. 
So there is the, I would say, is that the first blooper in the live stream? Okay, next we have Neil Ellis. Thank you for being a patron, sir. We'll dig back in this other box here. Okay, hopefully a foil that is really a foil this time. I think when I was filling the box, I was accidentally putting some in the wrong slot there, and I did catch that, but I must have missed one. Okay, next we have Kolos Yearling from uh, Urza's Block. Answered Prayers, Winding Way, Griff Vanguard, Winter's Rest, Quest for the Grave Lord. That sounds like a D&D &D campaign. Subjugator Angel, Lightning Stormkin, Whitewater Naiads, Gamekeeper, which I thought was going to be a Jackalope Herd card there, Foil Rabid Bite, and the rare is Eidolon of the Great Revel. Fantastic. Okay, so that is from Theros Block. So stay tuned for your pack opening later in the month, Neil. Thank you for being a patron, and I need to... Reorganize the powers of cards briefly. Be back in a moment. Okay, so how many patrons do we have left here? Two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight more patrons. And then we'll uh, show a little peek at uh, what is coming on the channel. Brian Simmons, thank you for being a patron, sir. We'll dig into the box here. Okay, what can we get for Brian today? We have a tumble magnet. That's interesting. What is that? Scars of Mirrodin. Voldalian Arcanist. Unearth. A tune with Ether. Silverclaw Griffin. Mirror Image. Dryad Green Seeker. Bond of Flourishing. Gate Smasher from Dragons of Tarkir. Grave Digger, Merfolk Looter, and did I do that again? There is actually, yeah, there's no no foil here. Okay, so you do get a Soren Vengeful Bloodlord. Let's pull out a foil here. Holy moly. Okay, Seal of Cleansing. Excellent. All right, so thank you for being a patron, Brian. Next up, we have Pierre Etienne Poulain. Thank you for being a patron, sir. Okay, Pierre, what do we have for you today? We have a regular cohort, Igneous Elemental, Chiller Pillar. Whoa, craziness, Borderland Ranger. <laughs> okay, you get, uh, you're halfway to a complete playset. That's funny, they were right next to each other. Sentinel of the Pearl Trident, Vampire Sovereign, Chilling Grasp. Gate Colossus, Cruel Celebrant, and a Foil Noxious Dragon with a Gigantosaurus. Fantastic. There we go, Pierre. Thank you for being a patron. Stay tuned for the pack opening later in the month. Okay, what is going in the chat? 
World War Dragons Gaming says he's the only one in fa his family that likes to play Magic, so if he wants to play, he has to go to his LGS or over to a friend's house just to play. Yeah, I uh, tried to teach my wife. She hated it, and my son is not interested at all. So, yeah, and then the LGS closed down. It was very sad. And Inked Reaper says, you're lucky you have an LGS. He lives in the Bahamas and his wife and him are the only two people on the island that play MTG. But you live in a fantastic place, so I guess uh, you can't complain too much. Um, tried getting more people into it, but they're all uptight about it. Yet they will play Uno or Phase 10 or some other card game. <laughs> okay, do you play MTG Arena though? How many people in the chat play MTG Arena? Next up, we have Zion Wilkes. Thank you for being a patron. We're going to go back to this other box now that we've uh, cleaned out that one a little bit. And at some point, I do want to um, challenge viewers on MTG Arena again. It's been a while, but if I have some spare time, I will be on there randomly. So stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled. Uno, you make enemies instead of friends. Is that sort of like Monopoly? Whenever people play Monopoly, somebody turns into like a uh, power-mad fiend. That's usually me, so... Yeah, they don't want to play after that. Toxic Nim, Knight of Old Benalia, Kruen Striker, and Anthony Erickson says he's playing Arena right now. Yes, some nice background for you here. Unearth, Bogarden Dragonheart, Roll Reversal, extra rare, Sequestered Stash, Winding Constrictor. That was a good one back in the day. Did anybody... Uh, do the Winding Constrictor deck with all the counters. That was pretty fun. Lesser Mastercore. Lava Belly Sliver. And a Foil Thassa's Ire. And the rare is Plague Engineer with Death Touch. Nice. Okay, so there we are, Zion. Thank you for being a patron. Stay tuned for your pack openings later in the month. Next up, we have Douglas H. Martins. Good luck, sir. And what do people think of the uh, mastery system in MTG Arena? Have you tried it out yet? Um, I have not had a chance to see how all that works, but I'm curious about that. Okay, next we have Battalion Foot Soldier, Sadisi's Pet, Stromkirk Mentor, Grim Initiate, Fledgling Osprey, <laughs> that's pretty funny, Dread Presence, extra rare there, Farika's Mender, Rally of Wings, Dire Fleet Neckbreaker, Riddle of Lightning, I'd like to see that one in foil. A foil Devout Decree, that is pretty nice. And rare is Chandra Fire Artisan, fantastic, from War of the Spark. So there we are, Douglas, thank you for being a patron. Rollo says, grind your way to the pass, he got it two days ago. And World War Dragon says, not a huge fan of the mastery system, but it's nice to get some free stuff. Oh, interesting. All right. Next we have Derek Nothnagel. Thank you for being a patron, sir. And somewhere in here, there's an extra standard pack. So I'm surprised we haven't come across that yet. So we've got four or five. Seems like the wild cards always want to clump together no matter how far apart I put them. And a foil and a rare. Okay, Derek, what do we have for you this month? Planes from Mirage. That's pretty cool artwork. I think that's why I put that one in. Griff Vanguard. 
Wall of Glare, Coalition Honor Guard. And you might have noticed there's a whole bunch of older packs here. I went through my boxes and dug out some of the older stuff we've opened on the channel. Coalition Honor Guard, Spinehorn Minotaur, Harvest Hand flips into a Scrounge Scythe, Rampaging Monument, Dissipate, Necromantic Summons, Godfaro's Statue. Oh, here's another wild card. Ding, 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 ding. So we get an extra rare. And we get an extra foil. Oh, you might have got a peek of that. Okay, so we'll set this aside. Jay Shing says, how many snap packs to go? You have a ton of patrons. We actually... We only have three more left, so stay tuned. Okay, the rare is Crypt Breaker. Austere Command is your second rare, and your foil is a rare Dowsing Dagger promo card. Very nice. That flips around into Lost Veil. So you don't see too many of these double-sided foils. That's pretty cool. All right, so there we are. Derek, stay tuned for your pack opening later in the month. Okay, next we have Marlana McCown. Thank you for being a patron. And what I'm going to do, since we've thinned out the box, I'm going to stick a few more extra rares. Uh, actually, we had one per slot here. And in the other one, one here, if we can get that and that one, and let's see, extra rare and foil will go back in, and standard pack will go in as well. Okay, so good luck, Malana. Let's jiggle things around there. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, and five. And then a, oh my goodness, the boxes are getting emptied out at a rapid clip. Although it's not too rapid, I'll say, what are we at, an hour and 17 minutes so far. So if you've stuck along around this long, thank you very much. We'll get a peek at what is coming soon to the channel, a new round of craziness. Okay, we have Volcanic Rush, Unholy Indenture, Ogre Menial, Ostracize, some nice artwork on that one, Ironclad Crovod, Canter Squall, Capsho Kite Fins, Murderous Cut, Oval Chase Daredevil, Thought Render Lamia. Oh, here we are, just one I... I I think that's probably what I just put in there. Extra rare and foil, so we'll do that. If I can get to the... Oh my god, this pack. Okay, so extra rare. And then dig in for a foil. Okay, so another wild card. <laughs> okay, so your rare, your first rare is actually a mythic Gideon Blackblade. Very nice pull there. So we'll set that aside, Planeswalker. Another mythic, what the heck? Dragon Ma Master Outcast. What is this from BFZ? And your third, or actually your foil, is a nice full art forest. Very cool, looks like there's a bit of a scratch on it, unfortunately. But double mythic, whoa. Fantastic. All right, thank you for being a patron, Milana. Stay tuned for your pack openings later in the month. Next up, we have Twilight's Eve. Good luck, sir. And a foil. And a rare. Okay, 
And Rollo negative, welcome. I don't think I saw you there earlier. So they got a uh, wild card, which led to getting an extra rare or mythic. So that's what happened there. Next we have Pondering Mage. Macabre Waltz. I've seen that one on Playmats before. Okay, here we are. The wild cards are coming back again. Extra rare. Okay, so we will reach in and get the extra rare. Cloud Shift. Lifkin Druid. Longfin Sky Whale. Blossoming Defense. That was a good one back in the day. Experimental Aviator. Lurking Chupacabra. Gideon's Triumph. And a foil, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> foil trustworthy scout. And the first of the rares is Whir of Invention from Aether Revolt. And Gift of Immortality from Theros Block. And I can never remember, is that from Theros or is that Born of the Gods or Journey into Nets? I think it's probably Theros. They all look pretty similar to me. All right, so thank you for being a patron, Twilight's Eve. One more patron left. Lucky last is Ryan Patterson. All right, so let's dig through this other box here. And World War Dragons Gaming says Journey into Nyx. Okay. And a, let's see, foil, and a rare, okay, so Ryan, hoping for a big finish here, we have a Rot Crown Ghoul, now is it just me or does that look like a dog wearing a helmet, I'm not quite sure what's going on there, that's very strange, okay, here we are, the extra rare, So tuck that over there. We get a Spire Tracer, Iron Will, Galvanic Alchemist, Fiery Finish, Rubble Welt Rioters. Oh, okay. I I may have overstuffed the box. Keep that in mind next time. Okay, so an extra extra rare. What would you call that? Um, I would not eat that piece of meat if it was extra, extra rare. Armory of Erois. Inspiring Unicorn. Lingering Souls. Uh, yeah, that's a foil. There we go. And the first rare is World Shaper from Rivals of Ixlan. Who will be sad to see that rotated out very soon? Was it less than two months now? And a Mythic Trapjaw Tyrant. Fantastic. Who's a dinosaur fan? Oh. And... Nissa who shakes the world. All right, there we are. So you've got two extra rares, actually. So that's pretty cool. So that is it. Thank you for being a patron, Ryan. Stay tuned for your pack opening later in the month. And welcome, Connor. We're just about wrapping up here. And I'll tuck my jackalope herds up here. We'll move stuff out of the way because we have a big box. So this is just a small peek at what is coming. And uh, let's see here. So we do have one of these on the way. And we have something else. Where is it? And another one of these. But the big one Okay, I'm going to have to So we have a huge box of cards from Goodwill. So we'll be going through that. That was an auction I bid on, on Shop Goodwill. 
will be seeing if I wasted a huge sum of money on that. I think that was about a hundred bucks all told. So, but there should be tons of cards. They sold them by the pound. I think it's about 12 pounds of cards. So stay tuned for that. That's, uh, I'm not sure when that will be coming up. It's, I've got to film the opening and I'm going to do, if you've ever seen um, what Tragic MT MTG does, he has a lot of auctions, opens, things like that, and uh, tallies up the value. So we're going to do something similar here. Not quite sure how that'll work out. It's going to probably take hours to get through the box, but I'll be fast forwarding that. And that's true, Rolo. Um, going to a good cause either way. So even if I get hosed, I won't feel too bad because I'll know that uh, it's gone to charity. So there we go. That's it. We're getting close to the 90 minute mark. So we're going to wrap it up now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button for more Magic Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and a wonderful weekend, everybody. See you later.